The Tano River, which supplies water to thousands of people in the Bono and Bono East regions, has been poisoned, raising fears of a possible health crisis in the area. Several aquatic animals in the river, including fish and crocodiles, have been killed by the acid content of the battery, which leaked into the river at Techiman Tanoso. A Techiman based local reporter from Asta FM, Nana Kweju Edu, reported and gave us that. Uh, update. A truck loaded with acid-based car batteries has leaked into the river. Has leaked into the river, and uh, that is what has caused the problem to occur there. And uh, information we've also gathered indicate that it has affected water supply. And I would want to find out from the Ghana Water Company how they intend to resolve this issue. Hmm. All right, so let's stay on this particular subject a while longer. Stanley Mate is the uh, head of public relations for the Ghana Water Company. Stanley, good evening. Thank you for your time. Yeah, good evening, Martin, and how are you doing? Very well, thank you, and Happy New Year to you. But I'm not sure this is happy news for your outfit and the people in and around Tano and the Bono East regions. How has the Ghana Water Company received this news, and what do you make of it? Okay, thank you for the uh, opportunity to, to clear the air. Yes, it may not be good news, uh, but when it comes to water consumption, um, I think uh, we don't have any uh, problem at all. Now, the accident occurred beyond the intake area or the abstraction area for our, our treatment plant. I know the Tunnel River serves uh, three areas, um, um, and so, and so, uh, I mean, there was that threat, okay. But want want everybody to rest assured that um, uh, it's not affecting us in any way. We have been monitoring the situation uh, since it's okay. And uh, I want to let the general public know that pH is being tested at the treatment plant on hourly basis, and pH is uh, averagely 7.2. So we do not have any problem at all. It hasn't affected us. We are treating water for the people of um, um, Sunyani and uh, its, its environment, and mm. there's, there's no challenge at all. And Are you I able to tell us the general public that water treated from any of our treatment plants should meet a certain standard before it is pumped into the system? Okay. So we we'll continually uh, test, uh, do the test for our raw water, do the test uh, during the process of treatment, hmm. and then do the test on uh, uh, in the in the clear water water, the final reservoir before the water is pumped into the system. And all these three points must must meet the standard. That, um, that there is. That the WHO standards and then the Standard Ghana Authority's standards. Right. So there's no challenge at all. But St Stanley, are you able to, so, so help me understand, you say it's at the intake point of the river where your machines are set up. It is, is it that... It is, beyond, it is beyond the intake area. So the water is, uh, those who are, who may suffer the consequences will be those downstream, not upstream. Okay. okay. Yes, so we so the water... We continuously check the the pH of the area, the acidity or the alkalinity of the water on early basis. Okay, so, okay. so in my understanding the is the water that has been poisoned is not the one that is going through your system for treatment. It is not downstream. At not at all. And even if it should go through that process, we still will treat and make sure it is neutralized because mm. pH, pH for water consumption should be between a certain uh, range, that's okay. from 7 to 8, okay. and we are within that range. But are okay. you able to advise the persons living in and around these areas that have been affected um, regarding what kind of danger they are in and what alternative source of water they can use in the meantime while maybe Nadmo and your outfit try to solve this issue? Yeah. Now, now those who live downstream who use the raw water from the Tunnel River may suffer the consequences. Mm. If the water is more acidic than it should be, it could affect uh, your system if you consume it raw. It could affect plants and um, um, wildlife if they have to if they have to drink um, right. the water. So aquatic reefs will be affected. 
and aquatic life will be affected because of the acidity um, uh, of, of the water. But for water that is being treated that flows through our taps, it must it must meet it must be neutral. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, so those living beyond that area um, should desist from consuming the raw water, or should desist from using the raw water for any activity, mm. because. If it's more acidic, it will affect whatever you use for. Even if you're using washing your vehicle or you use in doing any other domestic chores, it's going to have, it's going to have an impact on, mm. on, on that activity. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Stanley Mate, for coming through to help us understand how this is playing out regarding the safety of water. And clearly, he says, if you're taking water through the taps, you're safe. However, if you're downstream, that Tano River, you need to be extra cautious. We'll try and get to the, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, and then also uh, NADMO to find out how they are helping solve this issue quickly. Because fish in that river, and to the extent of crocodiles dying, tells you that it is quite acidic and dangerous.